Hey there, how's it going? It's Mift Crew here, and today I will be doing a little a little tutorial on how I do animations in SFM, uh, my Five Nights at Freddy's animations. So, uh, so when you open up SFM, you should be provided with a screen that looks like this. Uh, you don't need, really need to do anything here. Uh, you can call this whatever you want. This is not important. Anyway, so I'm just gonna go and create. Uh, now I'm gonna right click here, click load map. Uh, I'll just import any map I want to for uh, for this tutorial. We'll be using the Freddy's map and wait for it to load. Once it's loaded, uh, for me on this map I find myself underneath the map. I don't know why, but anyways, I. Just gonna make a camera here, so I'll click here, change camera, new camera. So now we got uh, the camera, which the uh, is basically what we see. So so yeah, so let's put it anywhere. I'm gonna click on this plus button. I'm gonna click here, it's camera one, and now I have this little thing here. I'm gonna. I usually, I think it's better if I add lights just so it's not so orange, but it depends what I'm after really. Uh, I'm just going to turn the map, the tow map scale up, not down because it would go really dark. Uh, turn it all the way up, all the way up because for some reason for me it seems to render darker than I make it, which is really annoying because it makes me a little bit inaccurate, but never mind. And now let's add a character. Uh, so we're gonna click here uh, for new model. And now we're going to let's type in Foxy for our example here because he's my favourite. And uh, now it may take a take a while for uh, for what model you're looking for. So I uh, I have to wait sometimes. Normally I have this checkbox. Enabled if I have it disabled. Uh, I don't know. It either takes a whole lot longer or doesn't uh, give me everything there is. It would appear it doesn't give me everything there is. So, so yes. Uh, let's import this model right here. Uh, so yeah, let's import that and let's we can. In the graph editor, I think this is the graph editor. No, it isn't. Not the graph editor. Sorry, the motion editor. Yeah, for some reason, if I select every bone in his body, and I uh, just uh, uh, left click and hold this little square right here and shift, uh, hold down shift to place him on the floor. Uh, he stays in one place, piece. But when I do it in the graph editor, it goes all over the place. I don't know why. So. Uh, that's something to be aware of there. Uh, if you want to move him without selecting the whole of his body, just click the root transform here, and then you can move him around wherever you want. So yes. All right. Let's get animating him now. So what I normally do to get started with is that I usually do the posing in the motion editor. So we're going to hold down control and select this bone right here. We're going to rotate his arms inwards and then uh, for uh, to make him look cute I simply just go to his eyelid over here and I rotate it all the way upwards until it's down here. Let's do the same with the other one. Now here we have it. Uh, he looks a bit like Foxy Brian at the moment. Unless we go uh, up here, then we can see a bit of his eye. But uh, we're going to go to his uh, face. We're going to click the plus button here. We're going to click eyes, and we can either rotate them around freely, which I use all the time for uh, the security guard model I use, or we can simply just drag it up using these little controls here uh, so yes uh, this isn't 
uh, you can use this program not only to make animations but also to make pictures so saying if we made him look a bit more this way we can have I don't know, that as a picture or something I don't know. <laughs> anyway but yeah now that we uh, got his uh, little cuteness uh, we can always raise his ears but that's not too important though let's just get animating him so we go to the graph editor normally what I do with the whole of Foxy selected is that I uh, uh, press M to make a keyframe I hit the play button and hit the pause button by doing it here or the spacebar then I make another then I press M again usually with all his bones selected. Then I, uh, I, I, okay. What happened to the position tool? Uh, the arrow seems to be invisible. Don't know what that's all about. Okay, that shouldn't happen for you. Theoretically speaking, if it does, uh, I would. If, if you save your work by then, then uh, you can do a save as and just exit out of this, out of it, and go to that save as. And, or just do a save as anyway, or well, I don't know, but that's me guessing. But anyway, now that we got this keyframe selected, let's drag it up using this green line right here. Let's drag the other one up. Let's have him rotate his head slightly with uh, this right here. He has a neck and a head. I don't really know what the best is to use. I'm just going to use the neck. So let's just jaw, open it slightly. And we might as well also select his ears. Drag them up here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And now, if we play it back, we have got this. Uh, so, yes, we might want to go back to the motion editor and change the position of his eyes. And now, here we got that. So, we can make this go f either faster or slower by uh, by having the whole of him selected like every bow uh, bringing this keyframe closer to this keyframe we make it go really fast we make it go all the way over here uh, no it's doing this again I think it's not going to respond and close <laughs> yeah Make sure you don't do it too big a step, otherwise it might not respond. Okay, here we go. But yeah, if we do it uh, really far away, it goes really slow. So, so yes, yeah, so that's basically uh, what I do to animate. I just do the same with uh, bones. So those are the basics of me animating. So yes, yeah, so thank you for watching. It's Mythical here, and I'll be back with more videos coming soon. Goodbye.